see you. Hey, Raj, can you hand me that wire cutter? Sure. Oh no, the battery! In this video, we will teach you how to handle a battery spill. Before we start, make sure that you are comfortable dealing with a battery spill. If you are not, do not proceed. Ask someone else to do it. It's leaking acid. Does anybody know how to handle a battery spill? I do, I'm trained. Step one, clear the area and notify the safety captain and mentors immediately. Can you please go get the safety captain and the mentor? I'm on it. Please stand back everyone, it's dangerous. Stand back. Your team should have a battery spill kit near the work area. In the kit, you'll find safety goggles, two pairs of gloves, baking soda, paper towels, Ziploc bag, warning sign, and electrical tape. Step two, put on the gloves and the safety goggles. Step three, neutralize any leaking acid by pouring baking soda from the kit on all seen liquid. Note that the baking soda will react with the acid, so temporary bubbling will occur. Step 4. Carefully place the battery inside one of the plastic bags. You can ask someone to put gloves and goggles on to help you. Squeeze out as much air as possible without allowing any acid to escape, then seal the bag shut. Step 5. Place the bag battery in the battery spill kit container and seal the lid shut with several wraps of electrical tape. Step 6. Neutralize any remaining acid with a baking soda. Step 7. Clean up the neutralized acid with a paper towel and place them in the second plastic bag along with any other material contaminated with battery acid. Step 8. Place the warning sign from the kit near where the leak occurred. Carefully remove the gloves and place them in the Ziploc bag along with the paper towels and neutralized acid. Then seal the bag shut. Step 9 is to ask the safety captain or mentor to review the cleanup. Finally, fill out an incident report. Make sure to write down the corrective action plan that you used to handle the incident. Also, write down ways to prevent it from happening in the future. There are a few more points we need to cover. First, the best way to manage a battery acid spill is to prevent one with careful handling in transportation of robot batteries and regular inspection of their case and terminals. Second, always have a proper battery spill kit where there are robot batteries and periodically check the contents for expired baking soda and missing or damaged components. Conduct annual training of appropriate personnel on the procedure to properly manage a battery acid spill and ensure your team knows who they are. Finally, please read the battery safety section of the first safety manual for further information, and then read the entire manual to learn more about other important topics regarding safety and robotics. On behalf of Team 2220, stay safe and have a great season.